Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Versus Night. Tonight, I will be comparing the Dinosaur Project, released in 2012, versus the Dinosaur Experiment, released in 2012. So, let's get started on this with the leads. The Dinosaur Project stars Richard Delane and Peter Brook. The Dinosaur Experiment stars Jaina Mashani and Lorenzo Lamas. Now, these are two completely different types of films, um, but I will get to that when I get to um, the story. Um, but as far as the casts in these, um, Richard Delane is pretty good playing Jonathan, the leader of this expedition that is going out in search of this variation of a Loch Ness monster um, dinosaur. Um, and he ends up finding more than that um, when he gets there. Um, his co-lead in here is uh, Peter Brook, and he's playing his assistant in here, and he's pretty good as well. Um, the twist near the uh, end of the film that he basically is willing to kill to get this expedition um, where these dinosaurs are um, all to himself and ha take all the credit for it uh, was, I think, a little bit overdone. And uh, that's where his acting got a little, um, I think, uh, he overdid it in his performance then. Uh, now on the dinosaur experiment, I really liked, uh, the performance of Jaina Mashani uh, in here. Um, I just wish she had, uh, decided on a better first film because she's first and foremost, she's a Native American singer, um, and not so much an actress. Um, but for a first time role, she does a pretty good job in here in her performance. Um, her co-lead in here, I don't think I can say the same. I mean, Lorenzo Lamas is playing it straight in his role, but his role is inconsequential to the rest of the film. I mean, he comes in as an FBI agent to investigate these dinosaur attacks with his comic relief partner, and he visits with a couple of uh, officials, he talks with a couple of uh, townsfolk, and then they spend their time in a motel room, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's the gist of what Lorenzo Lamas does in this movie. There's no real connection to the events that are going on with uh, Jaina as a character in here. Um, so, as far as overall, you know, equal equal performance, I'm, I'm going to give this one to um, the Dinosaur Project. Even though Peter Brook does go a little over the top near the end, I still think his performance was better than what Lorenzo Lamas uh, gave us in... Uh, Dinosaur Experiment. All right, so I am not going to have any uh, supporting actor uh, mentions this time. I'm moving right into story. So the story for the Dinosaur Project consists of a group of explorers on an expedition into the Congo come across various dinosaurs thought to be extinct. Now, the story for... The dinosaur experiment details a doctor who inadvertently creates several species of dinosaurs and when one escapes, leading an FBI agent to come in and investigate. Now, um, the Dinosaur Project is a found footage film. Um, and the story behind this found footage film is is not that bad. Um, I'm just not a big fan of um, the found footage style. Um, but 
done well enough. Um, I can't, and there's nothing I can complain about as far as the story. The dinosaur experiment, um, it is all over the place. Um, the writing on it doesn't know whether it wants to be a serious film or whether it wants to be this goofy, just over the top comedy. And, you know, Jaina as a performer in the lead is, you know, playing it straight and trying to be as serious as she can with the material she's given. But the material she's given is goofy and fun, basically, is what the director is trying to go for with this thing. So it just does not match up. And Lorenzo Lamas is also, you know, trying to play it pretty much serious and everything. But all the performers around them, that's why I didn't focus on the supporting cast, because supporting cast is a joke in this film. Um, they are all just goofy and just playing it for laughs and don't take the uh, source material seriously at all. So, um, it just made this story uninteresting to me that these dinosaurs are coming in and attacking and people are just, you know, not reacting like they normally really should. They're, they're reacting in goofy, comical ways as opposed to real. So, I'm going to give this one to The Dinosaur Project because of that. That really uh, turned me off toward um, the dinosaur experiment, the way that they did it. They so, let's move on to special effects and see if we can get a different outcome from that. The Dinosaur Project's effects were created via a company called jellyfish pictures. The special effects on the dinosaur experiment are created by Mark Lazoff, Fred Tapper, and Joseph Conti. Um, and I'll be honest on this one, this one there is no contest at all. The visuals by jellyfish pictures in the Dinosaur Project, even though it is a found footage film and I don't really like that visual style of film, when you see the dinosaurs in here, when you see the special effects of creating these creatures, it works. They look pretty damn good in here. I cannot say the same thing about the Dinosaur Experiment. The Dinosaur Experiment's effects um, while for close-ups, when a dinosaur is lunging towards someone and trying to attack, it looks pretty good. Not bad. But any wide shots of it walking down the street, it looks totally phony and CGI. Um, any shots of it walking towards someone from a longer distance, it looks fake. It looks horrible. So, and it doesn't help the fact that, you know, most of the actors, um, the only reason they get killed by any of these fake-ass effects dinosaurs is if they do something stupid and just basically walk out in front of it and let it bite them and tear them apart or whatever, you know. It's really bad. So, I'm going to give this one to the Dinosaur Project as well. All right, so let's move on to direction, even though it is a foregone conclusion of which film has won this, um, but let's do it anyway. The Dinosaur Project was directed by Sid Bennett. The Dinosaur Experiment was directed by Danny Bishop. Now, as I said, I don't really like the uh, found footage style, but I think Sid Bennett did a really good job of taking that shooting style and doing a pretty good story. It kind of reminded me of, in a lot of respects, um, George Romero's Diary of the Dead, in which it was a found footage film, which I don't really like that style. And that's probably my least favorite of the, you know, Romero films. But Romero did a pretty good job with it. 
Sid Bennett does a pretty good job with this as well. And it helps that the actors that he has in here are pretty good in their roles in here. With the exception of, like I said, uh, Peter Brooks, where he is just totally off the wall near the end. Um, it, it's pretty much really good acting in there. Um, the Dinosaur Experiment from Danny Bishop. I mean, he, like I said, he directs this thing. His direction is all over the place. I mean, he will be directing uh, Jaina Mashoni, and she will be doing a really good, you know, performance in here. But then she's interacting with someone that um, Bishop directs for whatever reason to be goofy, or that's how that performer decided to play it. And he doesn't correct it. He doesn't course correct this and try and make it match. If you want it to be goofy all around, direct either Jaina or Shoney to act goofy in the film or have the other actors tone down their goofiness. And uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And like I said, the only reason dinosaurs ever kill anybody is because of how badly written and badly directed these characters are to make stupid mistakes or stupid decisions. And it's such a joke that one character consistently jumps in and out of a back of a bus while there's a dinosaur right there, and it, and it should have killed him while he was jumping out, but he's able to jump back and forth. That's how much of a joke they make the dinosaurs in here. They are not a threat whatsoever to the people, unless they are stupid enough to just walk up to it and let it kill them. Um, so, yeah. Um, the Dinosaur Experiment is a travesty of a film. So I am going to give this one to... The Dinosaur Project, by default. So, our winner on this one, with a score of 4 to 0, is The Dinosaur Project from 2012. Um, I would recommend this one to watch if you don't mind the um, found footage shooting style. Um, but I would not recommend The Dinosaur Experiment at all. Um, like I said, I like Jaina um, Mashoni as an actress. I just wish she had done something much more serviceable toward her talents because she was pretty good in this as far as her overall acting throughout it. And I hate not being able to suggest someone to watch this, but I wouldn't want anyone to have to sit through this travesty of a film just to see her performance or... Lorenzo Lamas. I'm a fan of him. And uh, yeah, he's just wasted in this film. But what do you guys think of these films? Do you agree with my comparison of these films? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you'll be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button to become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight Fan Plus member, you have access to a post right now where you can request a movie, TV show, or even a ranking video. And once I do that video, it will go live on the channel for all Plus members to view prior to it going to the channel for all other members. So, if you want to get interactive, now is your opportunity. Well, that's the end of another Versus Night. If you missed last week's Versus Night, check out the link up in here. Or if you've missed any of the other Versus Nights, check out our playlist and see anything that you have missed.